On February 11, 2022, the IHSA launched its first ever girls wrestling sectional, setting the stage for the first state tournament for female grapplers to earn medals of their own. Following two seasons of successful tournaments, the amount of not only female wrestlers, but schools with enough participants to field full teams has grown rapidly. To add more excitement, this will be the first season where the sport will have a regional round in addition to sectionals and state, thanks to the expansion. The Naperville area has experienced a similar increase as local teams have seen their numbers grow and grow in recent years. Some girls have been wrestling for a long time, while others are new to the sport, but we're excited for the opportunity to compete once the IHSA made things official. Last year I was the only girl on my team, so when I started becoming part of this community and meeting girls from different schools, um, I really wanted this opportunity for Nikwa and kind of just to open this kind of door of opportunity. Um, we have five girls now and I'm really happy with how that's going so far and um, the season's been going really strong so far and we've been working really hard. I have never wrestled before in my life. Uh, my friend told me that I should come to practice, try it out, because usually I would be doing theater, but I was still in that like sportsy kind of vibe and I wasn't feel theater so he was like you should come to wrestling tryouts and I was like okay and the next thing I knew I was on the wrestling team. Schools like Naperville Central which was one of the few local schools to have wrestlers compete in the inaugural sectional in 2022 have started up a varsity girls team. Naperville North, Matia, Wabonzi, and Niqua Valley all have at least some female wrestlers, if not a full roster. The schools are bringing in athletes who want to get most of the experience while building a foundation for these new programs to thrive for years to come. We all start somewhere. Uh, girls wrestling hasn't been a long, uh, around for a long time, but we're all growing in a different way. Uh, the one thing I like is just the competitiveness from all these different girls that I wrestle. Wrestling in general during the winter is a great opportunity to be involved in a sport if you're not involved in one during the winter. For any girls that um, just want to become a part of such an amazing community of such disciplined people, um, I think wrestling is a great opportunity. We take everyone without experience. All the girls this year are brand new and they've already been doing so amazing. They've already won matches, so a lot of potential. New competitors like Wabonzi Valley Junior Sophia Peranto, who qualified for state in doubles tennis this fall, is giving wrestling a go for the first time. Despite the warrior trying out a new sport, she has already built a close bond in the wrestling room. We work with each other very well. We um, we're with each other. Like um, for example, like if I like relate this back to tennis, varsity practices with varsity, and we never interact with JV or any of the other teams. In wrestling, we practice with JV freshmen. Um, girls and I've been wrestling with fellow girls. I've been wrestling with some guys. I wasn't expecting the, the um, experience that I've been given. The male wrestlers are excited about the growth of the sport as well and believe everyone deserves a chance to dream, believe, work, and succeed on the mats. It started off really small for us. There was only two girls uh, for us when it first started and now we got an actual little team with us here today. We got around eight players now and I gotta say, everybody's working hard, they're improving, and the more we work, the more people we can get out here, the better. I'm glad wrestling is growing as a sport, honestly. I'm glad we're kind of building back up. I love it, I think, it's, I think it's a great thing, and I love seeing all the new girls coming out wrestling, and it really shows like, it's not just, it's not just a one sport thing, you know, everyone can do it, and I think it's great. Those trying out the sport for the very first time knew it was going to be full of life lessons and growing pains. But those who now have a season under their belts feel more confident and are ready to start piling up the wins. I've gained a lot of discipline. I've gained a lot of confidence. I kind of showed myself that I'm capable of them a lot more than I thought I was before. You know, I never could have imagined if you told me freshman year that I'd be able to start this girls team and be a part of it, being the only uh, female on the team. So it's really been an incredible opportunity. As the numbers keep growing, and with the addition of more teams, duels, and tournaments, the sport of wrestling is set up for a bright future in the Naperville area and the state of Illinois. I'm excited to just get more girls involved in the sport for us to eventually have full teams and have duels. Being more recognized as a sport, um, I got a lot of a lot of negative comments last year. A lot of people didn't really believe in what I was doing, especially being the first one. A lot of that's changed this year with the team growing, and it's gotten a lot better. Um, but I'm very excited to see the future for girls wrestling. I think it has a lot of potential. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Patrick Cotto.